Welcome to first step of Sales. Today I'm going to discuss upon Swiggy and Zomato registration. I'm going to discuss the documents on wire, about the menu, about the onboarding fees and time taken for Swiggy and Zomato onboarding. So first and foremost thing is FSSAI license or certificate it's mandatory. Without food license we cannot tie up with Swiggy and Zomato. In case of FSSA, like there are three types, one is basic registration, state license and central. Uh, we do preferably will not go for central. So we do only do this basic registration or state license according to the volume of uh, your business. If your volume of business is less than 12 lakhs, it's better to go with uh, basic registration. If your volume of business is more than 12 lakhs in a year, you need to go for the state license. Basic registration it's more suitable for uh, cloud kitchens and own basic foods and state license like any kind of restaurants and cafes uh, whose uh, space area is more than 500-600 square feet those people are better to go for state license. So in case of individual PAN card, Aadhaar card, bank account details, email address, phone number, GPS location of the pickup point or restaurant uh, uh, coordinates we call it as uh, that one and bank account details we made it uh, see when it comes to veg and non-veg basic FSSI or state license it's more than enough to tie up with Swiggy and Zomato uh, when it comes to dessert items GST will be mandatory like cakes, uh, paludas, ice cream, sweets in these cases uh, GST will be mandatory without GST we cannot tie up for dessert items but in case of veg and non-veg, GST is not mandatory. You can tie up with uh, Swiggy and Zomato without GST. Regards to menu, uh, in menu items along with the prices should be mentioned. The, but the prices should be increased around 25 to 30 percentage. Since uh, Swiggy and Zomato people, they want to charge you uh, of uh, in between 25 to 30 percentage of uh, commission. So it's better to increase the price on menu. Uh, regarding onboarding fees, uh, Swiggy is charging uh, initially 943 rupees while processing the application itself. You need to pay that amount, then only the application will be processed and remaining balance amount will be deducted from the wallet once you get the orders. Zomato, they don't ask you to pay any initial amounts. Uh, directly, they are going to deduct the onboarding fees uh, on the wallet I mean once they once you receive the orders it will be detected from the wallet the time taken will be one or two days for Swiggy but in case of Zomato it will take two or three days of time if you need any if you need any consultation about uh, Swiggy and Zomato you can contact us or if you need any consultation on food licenses or GSTs you can contact uh, first step or thank you